I used to be so terrified. I would never raise my hand, even though I was a good student. I couldn't stand the thought of people looking at me. But anyway, being a dominatrix, it's really just a branch of psychology. Huh. <laughs> neat. It is neat. People tell us things they won't even tell their shrinks. Huh. So is this pretty much a career path you're on? Or? No, I have other plans. I'm not going to be like 60 with a whip in my hand, although there is a market for that. <laughs> this play is called Trust. It was written by Paul Weitz. The show is about two rival gangs, the Sharks and the Jets. And really it's about the celebration of dance. Trust is uh, about a guy named Harry who uh, sort of has everything. He has a wife, myself. He has a ton of money. But it's bringing him no joy, no happiness. And so in an attempt to bring some something into his life, he walks into an S&M parlor and he meets me and I work there. I'm a dominatrix at the S&M parlor, typecasting. And uh, it doesn't really take to S&M, but what happens uh, there uh, at this S&M parlor sets off this series of dominoes that affect the rest of his life. Well, I think thematically the play's about power and control and how much of that, you know, when we get to a certain age, grown-ups, 35, 40 years old, who've been living their life a certain way and have been comfortable living their life a certain way, and, um, they sort of know that they're living an unhappy life, but it's hard to change yourself when you get to be a certain age. I feel like for all four of us in the show, we are uh, doing something totally new for ourselves. I think it's it's it's. Uh, I think there are unexpected performances from everybody. Well, my character in the play is not in S and M, and I love it. So that's hard for me to pretend that I don't like being spanked. Um, Sutton plays a very nice woman, and we all know that. She's pretty evil in real life. Uh, Bobby's very nice, plays mean on stage, and Ari plays a little Jewish on stage, and in real life, total goy. Just kidding, mega Jew. We're all delving into this world together, and, um, and it's a very intimate play. I mean, we're all doing things that are uh, uncomfortable, and we're all, you know, we've become really super close, and um, we're all kind of you know, bonding together. So it's it's just been, uh, it's been cool for all of us, I think. It's interesting to um, hear the sort of titters at the beginning of the play when we open up and we're inside of an S&M dungeon. Um, you can feel the nervousness um, in the audience. You can feel the laughter at first, be a bit nervous, and then you have, you know, then you feel people really go with it. I'm not in the first scene, and I'll, I'll sit backstage in the dressing room and, and hear how the first scene goes, and it's like this uproarious laughter, which is amazing. What's, what's even more fun than the big laughs is when you can hear the audible sighs and gasps and... <gasps> oh. 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 I think it's just because we're making people feel uncomfortable and thinking about things that maybe they hadn't ever thought of before. I think that it's a play that people can identify with. I'm somebody who came at this with... Uh, uh, very little in common with these characters and have found um, have found many things that I can relate to and I think that that's a testament to Paul and his writing. I hope the audience leave having uh, had a good time but also I, I hope that it makes them think about their own life and their own relationships. There's a lot to learn from the play and to think about in your own life so I hope people leave with that. I think I really responded to the material in particular because I wasn't just going to the theater to see a story that I liked, I was seeing a story that I liked and I could also really relate to in my own life. So for, for people, I'm 35, so for people in that age range, I think it, it adds an extra bit of something that it isn't just entertaining, it's something that will really speak to you. I think that's true art, is whenever you go to see something and you leave and you're talking about it maybe for you know hours or days later, um, it definitely leaves an impression and I think uh, that's reason to see anything. I get it. This isn't actually your wife. You're smooth, Harry. You're a smooth, creepy little bitch. You're not his wife. You're an imposter. What? What is going on here? Harry, why did you drag me over here? There better be a good reason. Look at her dress. Ugh. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> is this to prove to me that you actually do have a friend? That's pretty pathetic, Harry. What do you do? Hire you to pretend to be his friend? Okay, okay, so she is your wife. 